what's up guys John from Magic Tech Review so I'm here with the ZTE Grand X Max 2 the LG Stylo 2 and the Akatel Idol 4 and we're gonna go ahead and verse them and see uh, which one you should get maybe you know for since they're all hundred dollars right now and leave a like comment share subscribe and please uh, hit that bell so when I go live you guys can be notified <laughs> Alright guys, so what's up? John from Magic Tech Review and we have the ZT Grand X Max 2, the LG Stylo 2 and the Akatel Idol 4. And as you can see, these two are $100 when you port in. So if you're uh, coming from another company, such as Metro PCS, Boost Mobile, Sprint, anywhere basically but AT&T, we can offer you these uh, port in prices. And if you just uh, come in as a new customer, the Akatel Idol 4, it's now $100 either if you, you know, either upgrading or porting in. So, uh, really great. So, people can get the Akatel Idol 4 at pr pretty much the $100 price point, like with these, but except you don't have to, you know, technically port in. It'll just, it's for anybody. And here we have the signage right here. So, the $100 and uh, get the perfect amount of Unreal Akatel Idol 4 with the VR goggles. And these are the actual VR goggles right here. Uh, this is what you get in the package, so it comes uh, basically closed down, and then, you know, uh, your cables come inside, and the phone kind of just rests, rests on top in the box. Um, really nice that the Akatel Idol 4 is coming with this uh, particular VR headset. Uh, these things go for around, you know, $20, $30, to even $50, uh, especially when they're pretty well built like this one. Really nice. I think it's a really nice package. Um especially like for transportation or if you're going somewhere and you need to store your phone and your cables and stuff like that really nice of them comes with the buttons right here so you can actually press it while it's in the thing <clears throat> but anyways let's go ahead and take a quick look at all three and um, you know what I'm saying this this is my opinion guys you know what I'm saying I work for Cricket Wireless obviously but I'm I'm still a customer I still have to buy them at full price so I'm gonna take a look and give you my opinion of the three devices, so um, the ZTZ Max 2 or Grand Max 2 and the Akatel Idol 4, they both have the quad core processors. Uh, they're both running at two two gigs, um, but actually, I have a quadrant standard on all of them. <clears throat> so what we can do is we can take a look at the system information here, real quick. Now I'm just looking at the okay, so we can go ahead and take a look at the frequencies of them. So this one indeed is running eight cores at 1.5 gigahertz, and they all have 16 gigabytes of memory, of course. This one is running four cores at 1.2 gigahertz, and this one right here is running eight cores and it is 1.5 gigahertz. So it's just not showing. Like I said, the uh, these benchmark results sometimes vary, you know, depending on manufacturer and stuff like that. But sometimes it's just a good way to um, check out what's going on with these phones when they work, <laughs> or when the you know thing works. And then here we go with the um, resolutions. I can see here um, the ZTE Grand X Max Two. Is running at 1080p. The um, LG Stylo 2 is running 720p screen, and the Akatel Idol 4 is running a 1080p screen. Um, LG Stylo 2 has a 3,000 milliamp battery, or 3,100. Not exactly sure this just this second. Uh, ZT Grand X Max 2 is has a battery of 3,400. And the Akatel Idol 4 has less than that, about, I think it's a 2,800 milliamp battery. Now, the sizes of the screen also matter. So, we have a 6-inch screen here, 5.7-inch screen, and then we have a 5.2-inch screen here. Um, so, I think, you know, for me, I love big screen phones. Just adore them. So, you know what I'm saying? I really like them. I just, you know, I like to have that big screen feel in my pocket and... You know, when you pull it out, it's like, ooh, wow, what is that? You know, it's kind of like a showstopper. But the Akatel Idol 4 does have a lot of kick, uh, kick butt features that, you know, they ha this one has four 
has four speakers, aluminum body design. So you got the speaker on the top, the bottom, and then also on the back, there's two on the top and bottom. This one has an aluminum and glass build. So you have glass on the back with Dragon Trail, glass on the front, which is Gorilla Glass 3, and then you have that aluminum. So whenever you pick it up, you get that cold feel in your hands. Um, a lot of people love that feeling. It's a pre more premium design, people say. So on the LG Stylo 2, you have that, uh, you know, it's got the plasticky stuff, and you have its, it's uh, definitely at least grippy. You got the buttons on the back there, so a lot of people, they like the buttons on the back. Um, I like it as well, and then they also have the double tap feature. The stylus is included on this one. Very thin, very sleek for that one. And then also you can double tap these phones as well. So you can double tap the LG Stylo 2 and you can double tap the Akatel Idol 4. So um, those are cool features. Kind of wish the ZT Grand X Max 2 had the double tap feature. It does not. So to turn it on and off, but you do have your switch button right there. Uh, this one has the two cameras on the back. So each one of these phones has a differentiating quality there. Um, I kind of like the back on the ZT Grand X Max 2, even though it's plastic, it's like a polymer type, um, soft, softer rubber type feel to it. It's glossy. Yes, it does leave fingerprints, but I mean, what phone doesn't leave fingerprints? And, you know, you can just wipe those off. So that's really like a not issue to me. Um, ZT Grand X Max 2 has the speakers on the bottom there. So I do like having a speaker. This one's a speaker. This is the microphone. So I just like having it like that because... You know, it kind of gives you a little bit more protection versus the, we have the microphone port here at the bottom. Can get clogged up at times, so just be careful, guys, if you have a microphone port that only has one hole right there. Just be careful that it's not being clogged up by anything. Just blow it out. Um, headphone jack is at the bottom here. On the LG Stylo 2, headphone jack is at the top on the Akatel Idol 4. Uh, just trying to point out some differences, guys, so... If you were thinking about getting one of these three, and any of these three would be a great, uh, great choice. The 720p screen here is um, probably going to lead to better battery life versus the 1080p screens on these. Um, you know, this one's got the stylus, so if you if you really want to do some stylus functionality, it's right there. You just pull up the stylus, and then you can just start writing anything you want. Uh, it also tells you when the stylus is removed, so you know you don't leave it anywhere. It has the functionality where you just hit the button there, and then you can just draw to your heart's content. Um, lots and lots of different uh, photographs. Let me see here. Do do do. Do do do. Gallery. Here we go. So let's see if I can. See if I can check out some of the pop memo. Mm, looks like they were removed. But yeah, there was uh, some de definitely some neat pictures that customers drew and employees drew. Um, but I guess it's not here anymore. Okay. Well, anyways, um, you can create some really nice art, and then you know, or like let's say you get a text message and you really want to highlight something, or an email or a picture, you want to circle something and say, hey, check this out, and then you can actually. You know, put that part right there. That's awesome. Um, LG, the Akata Idol 4 has the boom key here on the side. Uh, that boom key serves many functions in different apps. When you're in YouTube, you can hit the boom key, and that'll make all four speakers fire louder. When you're on the home screen, you can just press it right there, and it gives you that little uh, sunny type thing right there. The home screen actually moves around as you moves around as you move has a gyroscope of course um, the ZT Grand X Max 2 and the Octal Idol 4 have the gyroscope function so for VR or when you're playing Pokemon Go stuff like that uh, LG Stylo 2 does not have that so like I said there's a bunch of different uh, features and functions in all three phones guys leave me in the comments below what uh, what feature you like out of all three uh, what OS do you like you know are you an LG fan are you a ZTE fan are you an Akatel Idol 4 fan? Uh, 
So what features and functions do you really love about these phones? Anyways, guys, John from Magic Tech Review, and I will see you guys in the next one.